Hello, welcome back to uh, Chris and Steve Disney. That's Chris. Hi. I'm Steve. Um, so a bit of a later start than usual today. Uh, we had a bit of a slight lion, and then we went to the outlets to do a bit of shopping. So we didn't bother taking you with us for that because there's not any point. But we got us a bit of Under Armour, some good deals. Uh, Bowen got on free a lot of stuff, and then ten percent off on top, which is pretty good. Um, so now we're heading over to Universal. Spend a bit of time in there before we go for Horror Nights tonight. So we'll uh, take you with us and see what you think. Bye. Alright, so this is us in uh, Universal's Islands of Adventure. It is, what time is it? 10 to 3. 10 to 3. Uh, it's 31 degrees. It's very, very hot. As always, keep hydrated. Uh, it gets very hot and humid here, so make sure you drink plenty. Uh, drinks can be quite expensive. So, grab a free star mug. The 10.99? Um, about $10. Uh, and you get unlimited refills for the day. But I'll check the prices and I'll put them below. Um, so you get unlimited refills for the day and then you can reactivate them the next day you're in for a cheaper price. Uh, there's over a hundred uh, different drinks available in the freestyles, so, um, but they work through Edo Studios, Island Adventure and they work for Horror Nights as well, which is good, because uh, we use it a lot. So you get a drink every 10 minutes basically for free. Uh, we're going to head our way through to uh, Hagrid's motorcycle, motorbike adventure. Um, which we can't film on the rides in here, but eh, we'll film what we can. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Hello again, so we are still over in Islands of Adventure. It's now just coming up to four o'clock and uh, it's still really hot. It's 31 degrees, it's 30 to 31 degrees right now. So hot. Uh, it's really busy today, it's Sunday. Um, and everyone's in islands because obviously um, Universal Studios closes at five to get ready for uh, the Horror Nights. So I believe they're open on this side until 10 tonight. What? Is it 10 or open until tonight? 10 islands, yeah. So islands are open until 10 um, when Studios closes at five. Because we've got tickets for Same Horror Nights, <laughs> we're gonna, um, that's Chris being stupid. Because we've got tickets for Horror Nights, we'll be able to do the stay and scream when we go over there uh, in about an hour or so, about an hour or so. Something like that. We'll head over just before the park closes and we can go into one of the holding areas for one of the uh, one of the, ha the houses. <laughs> it's putting me off. Um, we'll take you with us as we go around, but we obviously can't film... Shut up. We can't um, film too much uh, here because of copyright uh, so we can't film in the houses uh, we'll film on scare zones for you when we go over there and bits as we go but yeah it's very hot so be warned so that's us on board the Hogwarts Express we're heading over to King's Cross uh, yep. to head over to Universal Studios mm -hmm. unfortunately we can't film in here when it's the once we start moving we can show you around the cabin because it's just us in here. Can you show the camera around? Uh, nope. Just turn your hand. Yeah. Okay. So, as you can see, it's the North Branch. Just waiting to go. So, we will see you in London. Bye. Do do. Once we'd got over to the Universal Studios side, thanks to the Hogwarts Express, uh, we went to the Stay and Scream area for Halloween. It was over by the exit to the Mummy. Now, we thought we were joining the front of the queue. There were actually two parts to it because there were so many people there. So it was quite a wait. We had about an hour's wait uh, before we could actually get to uh, the, the house. But Halloween was our first house. So we've just come out of our first house for Halloween. So we stayed in for the stay and scream. Uh, what do you think? I thought it was good. Well, oh, oh, oh. Got you once. Yeah, once here, yeah, but the house is done very well. It's really well done. Uh, uh, so we're having a sit down and waiting for our next house. Yeah. What do you think? What? What do you think? Next house. We'll decide. 
Uh, we can't take you into the houses, so we'll film the scare zone for you. And you'll see the atmosphere changing. Once the starts, the park's just like reopened, so we'll see how it goes. So we're heading over to um, the next house, which is Chupacabra. Uh, so it wasn't brilliant the first time, so we'll see. So going into Fiesta de Chupacabra, a lot of people said that it was a scary house. Um, we didn't find it scary at all. There weren't many jumps for us at all. And to be honest, it looked a bit crap. The monsters in there didn't look like Universal's usual standard. Um, overall, it was okay, but not very good. Uh, so we've just done another house, which was Dead Man's Pier, Winter's, Winter's Week. Where it was alright. A couple of little scares in there, but nothing major. Just gets you very wet. It's raining in there, just to yeah. warn you. I've uh, been through a couple of uh, scare zones, which we will put up as well. And I'll put the pictures of the names of them, which we can't remember as we're walking through them. So we'll do that later on for you. So you should see that as we go. Uh, have a little rest, we've got What's going on? Spirits of the Coven coming up next. Um, and then after that, we're going to go to. Again, going into Spirits of the Coven, we were expecting a lot. We'd heard good things about it. People were saying it looked really good. And it did. It looked brilliant. The sets were really well done. But it wasn't scary. There were, there were hardly, there was no scares in it at all. Um, it was more funny than scary. Um, looked nice, but not scary at all. Here we are coming into a scare zone. Then we done Hellblock Horror, which was actually a lot better than it was the last time we done it. There was quite a few jumps in there. It was quite a good house. Here we are coming into the next season. Brother Sleep, it is time to gather souls. Let us slice the life tether and pull these trespassers low. Yes, let us Universal Monsters Legends Collide could have been an amazing house. Uh, it was okay. It looked good. Um, and you had the Wolfman, Dracula and the Mummy together for the first time. So it should have been fantastic. It was a good house. But again, not very scary. Um, the idea with it was that you'd have a different winner every night between the three of them. But it didn't make any sense when you were going through. So it was a bit of a flop for me. We then went into the weekend after our Nightmare House, which we have done a couple of times on the previous nights that we've been, and weren't really a great fan of it, but this time it was really quite good. There was quite a few jumps, and it even made me jump a couple of times. 
think it helps that we actually listened to some more of the weekend songs and watched a couple of his videos before going this time so that we knew a little bit more about it. Descendants of Destruction was a really good house. The theming was brilliant, it was creepy, there were good scares, and the set design was fantastic. So overall, a really, really good house. Our next house was the Horrors of Blum House. This is actually two separate houses in one, technically, even though you go through one house, which is freaky first, and then you come out of the house and go into the black phone. It was actually really good, really enjoyed it, and it was quite fun. There was a good few jump scares in the freaky one, more so than the black phone, but both houses very well themed and actually a really good house overall. Bugs Eaten Alive was an interesting house, shall we say. Uh, I hated it because it's bugs uh, and insects and just was horrible. Chris liked it. Um, the theming was really good. It was it was a good house. A uh, couple of scares in there. But for me, it was just the, the insects. I didn't like it at all. We also watched the Halloween Nightmare Fuel Wildfire show. It was good. It's... A lot of dancing and acrobatics with also a lot of fire, as you would expect from the name. It's one of the better shows they've had, but still never as good as Bill and Ted. 
So, full disclosure, this is being recorded six weeks after the holiday. Six weeks? Oh, about that. Something like that. Yep. Because while Steve was editing, we realised we didn't actually close off our night at Horror Nights. Oops. I thought we had filmed it, but apparently we didn't. We did all the other ones, but not this one. So, we'll do it now. Yep. It was a really good night. It was fun. There was a few scares. It, Universal theme things very well, but it seems like they're becoming more tame with their actual attempts at scaring people. Maybe it's almost like they're trying to, to almost appeal be to family. everybody and be family friendly yeah. when it's not a family friendly event. It's supposed to be 13 well, or whatever. it is family friendly, but people bring little children in strollers yeah. and stuff there and that's just it's weird. Not recommended. Um, Universal certain age range of 13 or over, but it can be quite scary at times, but this year, I don't know if we're just immune to it, but there wasn't many scares for us. Yeah. Um, we found it funny a lot of the time. Uh, for us, SeaWorld and Bush Gardens were much scarier. Definitely Bush Gardens, especially. Universal dug around, they, they do a theming really well, as you would expect from a um, film studio that size. They do uh, really good sets and really good costumes, but scares just weren't there this year. He's repeating what I said, isn't he? Yep. And yeah. yes, I am wearing a booty, snooty, whatever the hell you want to call it, big fluffy thing, because it's comfy and I have a cold. Hey. Look at me. Anyway. anyway, thank you for uh, watching. Thank you for getting this far through our vlog. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you see all of our future vlogs uh, and the notification bell so YouTube will tell you when we're next on. And we'll see you very soon for our next vlog. Bye. Bye.